Okay, that's kicking off episode 10 of the 248k mod run. Um, we're now in the fission stage, and I'm pretty excited about that, even though I don't really know what that stage entails. I mean, I know what fission is. I don't know what the fission stage of the 248k mod means. Um, so we've got a couple of things to do today. I want to try and work towards bots. I mean, I did have other efficiency modules, so these guys got efficiency modules. Um, let's, yeah, let's attempt to see if we can queue up some of the text to bots, because it's just down here now. Um, so the first one is going to be crushing, whatever that does. The second one is going to be in industrial glass, whatever that does. And then this, this kind of stuff, fluorite, okay, sure. We make some fluorite out of dirty water water that looks a lot like the lithium should be pretty straightforward um but there are a couple of other things i want to build along the way as well like we're back at the military section of the base the military science section of the base because i wanted to build where is purifier crystal grower did i not actually make one of these things yet is it a yeah electric energy injector one of these things i wanted um because it's kind of new and I don't have one yet and I thought I'd put it here and make with it some charged grenades that I don't have a recipe for yet because I don't have the tech for it yet um, but other than that there's a yeah let's, let's queue this thing up as well we'll set a recipe in later from the map they need a grenade and a charged crystal okay it takes four seconds how long do charged crystals take um actually check the recipe two seconds okay so other than a bit of building speed stuff if i have is that good? yeah i reckon that's going to be a good layout isn't it because then i can have things like this you can have all of those uh, i can balance those out a bit better and then everyone just has these things and if i put these guys here yeah so I'm now charging some crystals. I don't really know what that means. Or you actually need a bit of coverage there. Um, I need to give you 200 more grenades, which is fine because I've got grenades just over here. This is this is not even spaghetti at this point. This is just rando handcrafting stuff, basically. Um, so yeah, so so I've got enough to have 400 charged grenades once I've got that tech research. So I've got yeah, we've got we've got landmines that we've built but not set a recipe before we've got charged grenades which we've built and not set a recipe before let's get these in case i need to remove some trees and that's probably most of what's going to happen with the bots as well we're just going to need to go and build things that we don't actually have the text for yet cool um, but the other thing i noticed first is base kind of low on iron like i'm only getting about two belts through and these guys are unhappy and this belt is unhappy so do i have I hope I have belts somewhere that, yeah, this this belt is going out, but just not re-ingesting, and then this one is struggling for cog, so all that green science is kind of slow. Okay, so we're going to have to do something about getting more iron in, which is fine, because do I have, do I have the things I need? Arc furnaces, I have six of those, that'll be enough metal casters, I have those injectors I don't want, water pressurizer, I don't know what I'm doing with those yet, I think I have most things I need, maybe a couple more pipes. Because um, we're going to do some more iron first. Because we happen to have a patch of it right up here. Wait, are these guys also... Most of these guys aren't running, and this this belt of stuff is also not really moving. Um, so I thought I was going to be short on this stuff, but it turns out we might actually just be able to... Um, remember that we need more undergrounds. I'd probably need those to build the iron as well. And then just run it all the way over here. And this way, all of these engines can get... Can get the composites, so that's fine. Um, yeah, this this iron patch over here, we're gonna build on this iron patch because we want it. Um, I think I'm gonna get. How much stuff do I want here? Do I want to get like two belts out and then smelt it in this direction so that I can put it on a rail station later? Maybe. Do I just want to put belts back? I think so. I think for reasons, for reasons relating to rail bases. I want to reserve at least, well, in fact, that much space at the top of the map to do Ribbon World rail-based things with, uh, which doesn't look like it's going to be in the way of anything, so that's fine. And then mining drills. Let's let's put down some mining drills. I don't have enough mining drills. Okay, sure. 
Um, yeah, doing doing the stuff myself. Oh well. Um, using the fancy dense version of smelting, I guess. Um, I'm gonna need some water from somewhere as well, aren't I? Um, Yeah, let's on the, this one. There, there's not a whole lot here, so we can afford to not be pulling quite so much out. Um, but we're going to need still more furnaces, yeah. Okay. So I need to go back to the mall to get furn furnaces. Mining drills, whatever. Um, okay, so let's plan the rest of this. And I did have... Do I have stack inserters? That was the other thing I was going to build at the mall, wasn't it? Okay. Let's go back and organize ourselves some stack inserters, because I had kind of a plan for this, kind of. Because I did see that I haven't automated stacking inserters anywhere in here yet, but they do need mysterious energy crystals and also fast inserters. So I think my plan was to have one of these things, like, here, making stack inserters. Because then I can do, you know, this kind of nonsense, and they get all those things. Um, but they need... They need fast inserters, and also cogs, neither of which I have here, and this, yeah, I don't know what, can I, can I also make fast inserters here? They want to just need cogs, can I, this, this might work and also might be terrible, can I have this guy make cogs, because I do need a lot of cogs. Then this guy can run. Does this work? Uh, no, because it needs to go underground. But other than that, can I make this work? Um, do I have? I do have problems. Okay. Then you guys need to be fast inserters. This is a like additional place I'm automating fast inserters because that's fine. Um, so I'm going to need some of these guys like here to make fast inserters. And then what even is the plan for? If I have this... I don't... Yeah, because I was wondering if I could have these cogs put in here and then have these guys feed this way, but I don't think that works because then this is where the insert for the cogs needs to be and then this is where the box needs to be and neither of those places can hand this over. So I think what we've got to do instead, which might be even worse, is something like that, which is gross enough for me to be pretty happy about, I think. Um, so these guys are not getting chips, which is fine. Oh, do these... They do need plates. Oh, they don't need cogs. These guys don't need cogs. I could have just done a... Could I have just done a direct insert of the cogs into the stack inserts? I think the answer to that is... Whatever, it's done. I, things things I think about later if I'm mauling things differently. Um, this world is going to have to go underground, so I guess these guys don't matter. Um, yeah, and then... Oh, didn't I, I got that thing in the wrong place. Cool. Um, okay. Let's do... Uh, did I not have... Okay, you, you probably have these for me then. And, yeah, we've now, in some way, automated stack inserters that I don't feel particularly great about, but, you know, it's running. Okay, so we've got some stack inserters. Because uh, now we've got stack inserters, I should be able to do... Do I need these as well? Do I just need everything? And I've got I've got the, the other size poles, which are kind of the poles I wanted to be using for this furnace thing. Because I think we're going to attempt to set up something that looks kind of like the long-term furnace thing I wanted. I think I've been taking... I think I'm going to take two belts off this. Um, even though I'm going to be able to get probably a lot more than two belts off. Um, let's set up for two belts. So, purifier. I need three of... I need four of these if I'm also doing the water treatment loop. Um, which I think I am. And then, yeah, let's set these up with... Processing iron, you are actually not processing iron, you're processing water, and you actually need to go the other way. And then we've got... The direction of these things doesn't matter as long as it's water and, and the things out here, isn't it? I don't know if I've left enough space for mixing these things either. Um, 
Do I? I do have stack consider opacity bonus? I do. So I should only need maybe two inserters each. Maybe. Anyway, um, other things we've got to do include this stuff. I've got to also bring some water over here from somewhere. Um, which might be... Uh, don't need that kind of water. Is there, there is, there's probably going to be water down here, isn't there? Are these guys... Are these guys on a closed loop of water? Oh wait, there was other stuff I wanted to set up as well, wasn't there? What shall I get distracted by first? I think the thing I want to get distracted by first is... Oh, these guys have actually run down all the kerosene. Interesting. Um, give, me, give me a couple of these back. Um, because what I actually wanted to set up is I noticed that I've got somewhere, I've got a train fuel that uses this desulfurized kerosene. So I'm not, I'm pretty fine for power grid. And we can do that instead. Um, I think, I mean, having said I'm fine for power grid, I'm gonna throw one of these guys here and one of these guys here, just because these tanks still have a lot. I kind of want to pick up these tanks, but that's kind of not worth... I mean, there wasn't really much kerosene worth saving in there. Um, yeah, so I've got this... I've got this kind of fuel unit, which is fine. And then I've actually got from the other train tech that I unlocked... Another kind of fuel unit that... So what is the difference between these? 70 megajoules? Okay, that's a lot more than solid fuel, but doesn't have the, the acceleration bonuses of solid fuel. But then this one is one-to-one -one between the basic fuel units and the energized fuel units. Takes me a mysterious crystal, okay, fine, but does give me... Is that a bonus acceleration or a total acceleration? These... where's... okay. Can I... Uh, can I find the... is this the oil processing? Uh, fuel vehicle acceleration 120. Okay, so if I energize my fuel, my trains accelerate significantly slower. Um, it's not there, it's in here. My trains accelerate significantly slower, but I get more fuel out of each item, and I get a higher top speed. Um, I figure we go for it, why not? So I'm going to need another of those charger things, which are an electric energy injector. And then we're going to need some more crystals, which I've got kind of got a box for over here, so that's fine. Um, give me... I don't know. I don't know how many of these things I want. This this eventually needs to automate, be automated a whole lot better. But at least, we're at least going to get some kind of train stuff going. Uh, yeah, sure, you can go over here. Um, charge crystals... Sure, I don't know if this is this is what I want or not. That's not how this works. Um, out of power poles, fine. Okay, so you also need all of... That's not where this this needs to go around the other way, doesn't it? Because... Yeah, that's not what wants to happen at all. Um, okay, let's do that differently. You want all of these, and you want to go that way, and you want to go this way... You're going to end up... Are you going to put things on opposite sides of the line? Yeah, then this is exactly what we want. Um, okay. And then, say, here... What are, the, what are the construction rates of these things? I didn't even look at that in this case. Um, two seconds when I knew that, that was the case. Why are you not... Oh, because you picked up... You picked up a charged one. Okay. Have, have You have the boring ones. Um... You know what? I don't think I'm going to need this for ages, so I don't even think I'm going to worry about that. I think we're just going to have you put stuff in a box, and then I'll have a fancy train fuel for later, and it'll be fine. So that's fine. Um, walking away from that, that's that's a thing that's automated. Actually, I'm going to at least check. Five seconds for four. These guys are ten seconds each. Yeah, that's this is this is not going to be waiting on any of those kinds of construction times. It's going to be fine. Okay, let's find ourselves some arc furnaces and finish making this thing. And the arc furnaces go here and here and here, making me molten iron. Yep. 
And then I need some of this stuff, like so. And hopefully this is going to be kind of a copy and pasteable pattern. Uh, metal casters. Metal casters are here. Uh, do I want to go down or want to go up? I kind of want to go up, don't I? We'll go... We'll is that is that a space I'm leaving? That's not a space I'm leaving. Um, it wants to be there. I mean, I could have left a beacon full space, but I also have no idea how beacons work in this case, and I don't really mind just rejigging a bunch of stuff later because there aren't going to be there's not going to be ever going to be all that much stuff like trapped in these systems. They're going to be like a couple of stacks of things each, and the bots are going to get that anyway. Um, did I? Oh yeah because I also wanted to drag this back because somewhere, somewhere I can get water for this thing, I presume. Uh, okay, we're going to do some more underground things here. I mean, this isn't even... Yep, that worked. Uh, sure. Yep. So that now, over here, should have... That's going to be enough water for, to make everything work. So we can take this back. We're going to do fixed loop water thing. I don't think... I want more landfill. Uh, but yeah, all, the, all these... Because also, the, all, the, all of these guys who are doing the, the processing have already taken in the water they need. Okay, so let's get stack inserters, which I have probably... Whether or not... Fast inserters. Why haven't I got fast inserters? Because I don't have... Oh, yeah, because these guys are going to be waiting on the iron that I actually haven't built them yet. So let's also go and grab all the other things I also need to automate at the same time. And, um, yeah, the other train fuel might also need other trains, which I have also not set up at the moment. So um, I might need more of that, might I? Um, yeah, I might need more trains to do... Different trains to do different... I need those? I hope I don't need those. I think we're just going to do everything with stack inserters. Um, yeah, might might only be able to use certain kinds of trains to use that certain kind of train fuel, but also that's fine with me. Um, power poles was the other thing that I might not actually need that many of. I might have nearly all the power poles I need, but we're still going to grab, you know, grab some of these, and then I've got another power bus over here, don't I? Power bus, power mall. Yeah, that's going to be more than we need. And in fact, Given this is the next thing we're doing, I may as well drag these two belts back. Um, are we going to try and... Yeah, let's at least attempt to stay out of the way of the cliffs. So we've got to make ourselves two belts of iron, put it on this thing. This is fine. Um, cliff explosives? Yep. We've got those things now. Okay. Um, and we are nicely clear of where we want to put the rail when we're doing eventual rail-based stuff later. And then, I haven't actually thought about how many of these I need. With the kind of inserter capacity bonuses that I've got now. Um, but it's probably fine. Okay, so this here is a hole belt. And this here is a hole belt. Um... Yeah, you guys can have that. How much is that? 12? That'll fit on one belt. Uh, this is... Uh, yeah, that one's in the way, isn't it? Can we... We can still power it there. Okay, so now we can put another belt of stuff in here. And that's probably going to nearly work. This is empty because the, the this purifier down here is doing everything it needs to, which is fine. These guys don't have the stuff they need because I haven't given them the stuff they need, which is not unexpected at this point. Um, these guys probably only going to need... Actually, these guys are swinging for four at this point, aren't they? And these guys only need five a second. So I reckon one is going to be enough for the, these guys. Um, give them some power poles. And give you a thing. And then you guys have not... Oh, you had, haven't got recipe set. That's a good reason for you to not have anything. 
Um, okay. Uh, so now you guys have got all your stuff and you need space to put outputs. In fact, if I'm... You guys might only need two inserters a piece. Wait. I've set this up as if I have red belt and I currently do not have red belt. So... This... Yeah, these... These two we're going to have to put like here or something. And then... Yeah, this will this will this will still work. It'll be fine. Um, and then yeah, that's that's. Uh, I don't have enough mines down, but that's going to be that's going to be two yellow belts of stuff. Everyone's working. You guys are stacking things, which is not unexpected because I don't have anywhere for you to put the stuff. Um, but yeah, we we've got our two belts of iron. We'll go and plug this. Um, we're going to do a little, which we don't have two belts of iron. Do we? We have. Let's figure out how much space I actually need here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to actually need... Should we just mine this whole thing? How many is that? 68? Yeah, I already don't need to mine that whole thing, do I? Um, whatever. But that's going to be... There is going to be where that will all fit. And just your glass is nearly done, which is nice, because that was one of the things we needed. And yeah, I reckon we... We're gonna mine more than we need, and I think I might be okay with that. Uh, grumble, grumble, yeah, whatever. I mean, it's not balanced. This, this, this contraption here. There's a decent chance that this won't quite balance everything. Um, I should have left. I don't have any fast inserters on me. Okay, so this will this will slightly balance things because this 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 belt will definitely be full. Yeah, this put this belt here is definitely full. This output belt here will be filled up on the right hand side by this, and then this will kind of help fill up the inside side. So I'm gonna I'm gonna call that done. Um, and also these guys are just banking stuff because they're just rolling back to the base. Um, some at some point you need to put the rest of the mines on that, but getting that iron tapped is. I would like it out of the way. I would also like the iron in the main base out of... Yeah, the starter patch of iron out of the way. I think we're slowly working out. I didn't give any of those guys... I didn't give in any of them efficiency modules. And that's kind of what we're doing at this point. So I actually don't have the efficiency modules. Um, yeah, and then... I think we're just going to attempt to pull some of this up and redo things, I think is the plan. Um, this is... Uh, yes, yeah, so this is... If I just cut this one... Uh, in fact, all of this can get done, in fact, this guy here. Then input priority the other side. And no upper priority. Upper priority doesn't actually matter. Um, yeah, but then I should... It's just, yeah, well, I kind of want... Bots aren't good at picking up that kind of stuff. Um, however, this hopefully means that... Yeah, this one belt of stuff here can go in the top one. Do I even want it in the top one? Do I just want to put it in this one... In this third one, I think it's going to be mildly easier, but not really. Not in any way that particularly matters. Uh, it's not the right uh, things that are bad in ways that don't matter. Okay. Um, get rid of all of these. Get rid of all of this stuff. Get rid of these once I have bots. I mean, I'm still pretending that bots are kind of close, and they're also still kind of not. We still got a bunch of stuff to do. Okay, so this lane is going to be running and giving us stuff, and then this belt here is a mess that need not exist, and in fact, yeah, so this belt here needs one of these belts, don't go in there, um, you can have things, whatever, okay, I think this one's going underground here, I guess, and 
then we're having a splitter here. And this needs to be on the other side, which is not super convenient. Um, wait, what am I actually running off this? I'm running... I'm running a decent amount of stuff off this. I should probably do this with... Wait, these guys... I don't need it here. I only need it here. So I can, in fact, run... I can do that. That's a much better way of doing this. Um, then, then all of this stuff can also disappear. Yeah, sure. Um, okay, so we've got these two belts of iron. And where is iron going? This is... Oh, this is a this is a buffer that I don't need anymore, so we can have bots get rid of that when we get around to it, and we can kind of bulldoze this through here. Do I need to send? Did one of where does this belt come from? Okay, so this belt actually comes from this lane, which is still being supplied, which is fine. So do I? really just need to do like that. Is that what I need to do? I mean, this this I think has to this, yeah, this bit here has to take priority, I think. I think I've got to go like uh, input the other way around, this way around. Because I want to be able to drain this belt, I th yeah, because this is the belt that this iron comes off. So, this thing here does have to continue to drain. And we've connected two more belts of iron to the base. Um, I think this one actually wants to go up priority right, doesn't it? Left, sorry. Yeah, so these these guys need to be able to grab everything so that blue signs can run. Um, and then everything else, this will probably stop when it gets to here. Because this one, these ones are taking priority. Um, but I think we're... Okay, yeah, we're... What, the other thing... Okay, I need one more splitter. Like, don't have any splitters. Um, I've got this... This one here is achieving nothing, yeah. Uh, here we want to go output on the right. Yes. And uh, then I don't think this one wants an upper priority at all, but it kind of doesn't matter. Yeah, sure. That's 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 getting more stuff into the base. That's fine. Let's go and figure out how to build things that bots want. Because we've got some of the techs now. And actually, let's go and have a look at some of those techs. Um, we, we can make a crusher which uses concrete and crystals and engines and things, I th things that I have around. Um, and I can crush energy crystals and lithium and coal and stone. Cool, I guess. I should probably be starting at the bots to figure out how I make the things that I need to make bots. Um, yeah, none of that is... Here's electric engines. What do we need to make electric engines? I need gold. I need normal stuff and gold. Um, gold probably comes from advanced metal casting. Um, gold, okay, and one of these is going to be molten gold, molten iodium, molten titanium. Molten gold comes from pure gold, made in an arc furnace. That all seems pretty strange. Actually, are these numbers the same? Um, this is five per second. No, this is, yeah, five, five pure gold per second, ten gold plates per second in an arc furnace. Casting... Or purification. Oh yeah, we already have the, the arc furnace unlocked. Okay, fine. Um, these rates are the same as the iron and copper plate, so that's pretty straightforward. Um, are these purification steps the same? This is five a second in an assembler. Interesting. I'm needing rich water, and once I have rich water, I can turn that rich water into any of the three, let's call them tech plates. These are the, this neodymium, which is what I need for the electric, not the electric engines, the drone frames, I believe. Um, okay, so I just need to get rich water. And I've got one way of getting rich water from uranium ore, which is interesting because I don't think I have any uranium on the map yet. It's a thing I've been keeping an eye out for, I just don't think I have any. 
and then more rich water from more stone and more crystals interesting and hydrofluoric acid and this this is giving this is giving me okay this is giving me crystals and it's giving me iron copper as extra output and i have no other way of getting rich water at the moment so i think this has to spaghetti through the aluminium thing we're doing so that i've got so that all the iron and copper ends up on the same belt that can be prioritized into the base okay so more more stone of course more stone more stone and then hydrofluoric acid did i see that over here so hydrofluoric acid fluorite which i can make here water sulfuric acid acidic water uh, product acidic water okay so it gives me more acidic water out okay and then fluoride dirty water okay so i need to be able to sustain i need to be able to sustain dirty water production in the same way that i'm attempting to sustain it for the lithium interesting okay so that's wait so i don't actually I don't remember seeing anything I needed to do with any of this stuff to get bots. So I might ignore it. Um, okay, so the thing... Yeah, we're going to try and set up a thing that works towards this without having unlocked any of the recipes to do that yet. Um, okay, so... Uh, yeah, I guess we need some of those furnaces that I still have some of them in my inventory. Arc furnaces, metal casters, purifiers. I've got four. That should be enough. Um, yeah, let's let's wander over and oh wait, let's get the. Why is everything so slow? Oh, everything is so slow because because all the green science was blocked on not having. Yeah, they were blocked on not having the things that needed iron and now i have those things so everybody's happy again okay fine um and then it's just trickling down here sure whatever um get the do i want to turn these modules back on again how many how many of these modules do i have not many okay so let's turn some of these modules back on again um i could actually you know what this is only going to actually if i have less than say 400 400 which is eight stacks, which are still, you know, quite a few. Um, and it's also not going to care about... Oh, this guy's going to keep running as well, isn't he? Um, let's just do that as well. And now this inserter, which is moving prod mods, is also only looking at the efficiency modules, but whatever. I've already got more prod mods than I need, and these will make me eight stacks of things, and then it'll be it'll be fine. Um, and they'll also just take the red chips off here, which I also don't care about, because these guys will be MTM their things that's fine oh yeah at some point these guys got efficiency module as well whatever okay so so i need to are you just getting stuff done kind of sure um i need to first of all efficiency module these guys i don't really need to but i've got i mean i was gonna say i've got the efficiency modules i've just turned the efficiency modules back on again so we're going to attempt to pretend that we're doing things in a pollution-sensible manner. Uh, even though I'm pretty sure I don't need to worry about how much stuff I'm polluting at the moment. There we go. Two of those guys in each. Oh, arc furnaces also want efficiency modules, don't they? Um, give me you. I need six of these for, my, for this many arc furnaces, I believe. Uh... Yeah, efficiency. And all these guys are doing what they need to, and that's all pretty fine. Um, this is actually, yeah, this is more than the number of stacks that they need, isn't it? Whatever. Not going to worry about that now. Okay. So I need, I need a reliable way to get a lot of sulfuric acid. Are these guys empty now? Yes. Mostly I wanted to get these guys out of the way because I don't think I'm going to need. I mean, these guys are going to be a way of using it. I think, yeah, I think let's, yeah, let's have some more of this and then also just go, here's, we'll do it this way, here's a, I need to do a wire it up before I do that. If you ever have, 
desulfurous kerosene. More than, say, 20k. It's my default amount of stuff to care about. Um, then we can dump a surplus into a power grid somewhere. Um, so yeah, so we're going to get... Most of this is going to do a thing. We'll, we'll, we'll get some train fuel. Sure, we'll, we'll use the rest of it. That's fine. Um, so... The only place I'm getting dirty water, I mean, I'm getting, I'm still getting dirty water in bulk from here, aren't I? Because I've got a purifier here, I've got several lanes of stone doing stuff. I'm getting, am I getting, am I getting more when I, so that's just getting dirty water out to get fluoride. But then I needed the advanced or purification. Is this going to be next? I think this is going to be next. I am. This took stone, but not dirty water. Okay, so yeah, so I've got to have, I've got to have a, because the thing is, taking the dirty water out means that more water has to go in. So I think we need to run down here and move some of this stuff around. Um, these are going to be constantly using water. These guys are going to be constantly using water. Yeah, because the other thing I'm thinking about is like the water supply in here, especially if all these guys actually run up to speed again. And I also need acid. And I have... That's stone bricks. That's not metal. Where's... Where actually is metal from here? How would I get... I've got metal here and sulfur here. Would I do acid there? That doesn't sound like it's a good idea. I want to get some acid from from the acidic water um, but otherwise yeah I think I think the first thing actually can I because all of this stuff will just be continuously using water so can I throw in like a tank like here or something and then I know the tank needs to be on this the tank needs to be on this side of the thing if I'm doing it this way around and pumping in if this water is pressurized water, regular water regular water is less than say, yeah let's go 15k yeah so this this steam system uses steam here, this one also, and then it's this water feed. What does this even connect to? Where is... Oh, here, here's the return loop. Connects here. Yeah, because the thing I'm thinking about is I can also still... I might still have these, especially if I need more acidic water. Do something like that, and then... Yeah, because this water pipe is here. Can I also... Wait, this purifier won't be here because I'll be getting yeah so if I have a tank here I'll run that underground we'll have a pump going in there uh, it's not gonna not gonna work there yeah um, I guess we just do that later and then this doesn't have any stuff because I haven't connected the things to the other things yet, but that's fine. This... Actually, the purifier's not going to be there. I didn't even need to worry about it doing like doing it like that. Okay, sure, whatever. Okay. Um, let's... Why don't you have... Because you, you have very little water. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, because the thing is, the idea is now I've done that, I should be able to drag another water pipe but I can't put it here because I can't pump control it and I can't put it here because it interferes with these ones so I guess we're doing something gross like that so I can do th this? Is this what I want to do? I don't know that this is what I want to do. Um, what is this one connected to? So it doesn't connect to anything now. I mean this one may as well be here Okay. And can we... 
Like, this is kind of building through space that I might have used or something, but I guess we could just spaghetti around that later. Um, yeah, spaghetti around things later. Um, here, I guess. Because this is on... Yeah, this is still before the pump into this tank with stable pressure. Because the idea with this thing is then I can have another one of these guys here. Another two of these guys. Another two of these guys here. Yeah. Uh, I don't need to. I'm not even going to need to get through that gap. And then this thing can go back to the whole. Yeah. Okay, so now we have a lot of water supply for all of these things. This pipe is always full. This could actually be connected to the cracking as well, because everyone here just needs to get all the water all they need all the time. And then I should have this tank stable, and then all these pipes still having all the water they want. And then also, I mean... Yeah, I think... I think what I actually do here... Do I have another tank? Yes. We do that, and then this one also stabilizes, right? Because this one is on the same... Let's keep it at 15 loop, 15k loop is this one. But then I can have here... This other pump. Which should mean I have all the water I ever want over here. Which is cool. Um, because I happen to want... A lot of water over here. Uh, it's also... Not really a useful thing there, but whatever. Okay. So I've got all of the dirty water that I ever need, probably. Let's do the same thing here, where we've got... It's kind of in the way, isn't it? Not really sure what I... Yeah, whatever. Okay. Because um, this, again, wanted to be kind of an overflow. Because I'm probably making... I mean, I have no idea at what rate I need dirty water. That's a thing that... I have not actually checked. But this is going to give us a decent amount of dirty water, and then everything else can just be landfill, because that's how that's going to work. Uh, let's not put it there, let's put it here. Okay, so, um, these guys are getting a lot of stuff done, in theory making dirty water. Um, I probably should check how much of that stuff I need, and then what is even the rest of the process? It's the one that I'm researching at the moment, isn't it? Um, hydrofluoric acid, I need this stuff. The fluorite is easy, it's this step here. So I need sulfuric acid, I need a way to get a lot of sulfuric acid. Um, I'm pretty sure there was an acidic water to acid recipe. Uh, not that one. Acidic water to water and sulfuric acid. Fantastic. Um, that's actually an even better reason to also have some tanks around here that always want to be stabilized at less than full capacity water, because it means I have that extra water I can pump in here. And other than the fact that I need to figure out where I'm building sulfuric acid, like I don't even know that this is... Is that going to be stable enough? Um, I guess the other thing is... What I want is these guys giving me... That's the diffused kerosene. Are you guys still... Yeah, you guys are still just doing stuff slowly. What I want is the rest of this water. This acidic water. Uh, because I can turn this into both water and acid. And I think putting the acid build over here is going to help. Because then, like, that's the natural direction that this is spaghettiing out, he said, as if there was ever a natural spaghetti direction for anything. Um, but I've got more acidic water. So what do we want to do? I've got the... I could actually... I mean, this this does not seem like a good idea, but we're going to go with it, because that's, that's how things work. Um... Uh, we can't actually have both of those next to each other, can we? We have to do it here. Because one of these wants to specifically feed the landfill machine, and the other doesn't. 
Um, and I also remember that I was going to have maybe another one of these here. So let's figure out how that can not be a thing. Um, I could run it underground through here, I guess. Uh, I could also just... I uh, can't actually have an underground there, can we? Anyway, um, I wanted to try and figure out how to have acidic water. Yeah, because the, the, the other thing that strikes me here is I've also got this pipe here, which is where I can put the rest of my water that comes out of the acidic water into water process. And if I'm thinking about building these here, then I should actually just, other than the fact that I don't have the stone or the chips, um, both of which I can get in a dirty way by doing this stuff. Yeah, we're making our own chips, that's fine. Um, because if I do need more acidic water, this is how I'm going to get more acidic water. Um, and everything is kind of already set up for this anyway. Kind of. Okay, so we've got... Actually, what are the rate that these guys run at? 200 kerosene in 4 seconds. These guys are 140 kerosene in 5 seconds. So I probably need a couple more of these as well. Um, that one won't fit there, but if these guys are going to go here... Yeah, I reckon that'll work, won't it? I haven't actually thought about what those ratios should be. Um, but we've extended our kerosene processing, which is nice. We've run out of efficiency modules, which is still a thing that's going to happen, even though I'm making more whatever. Okay, you have two of those, you have two of those. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll get around to throwing some more of those in there later. Um, you're getting everything you need. I haven't also... Ex yeah, whatever. I'm pretty sure that steam was mostly fine. And then these guys... need to go in here, and this one goes here, I guess, is a decent way of doing that. So now we're desulfurizing de more kerosene? Yeah, desulfurize kerosene. We've got a lot of acid water. Okay. What else was I doing with the acid water? Oh yeah, the acid water was also making the crystals, and I get more crystals anyway after I do the rest of this process. Okay. So let's also drag... Yeah, this is, this is not too much in the way. This is a water pipe that will always have space in it, so that's nice. And then we need... We need acid. We need... We need this acid recipe? Yeah, chemical plant. Um, do I have... I think I have chemical plants. I don't know how many of these chemical plants I need. Um, that's... Yeah, let's give us a bit of space because... Because that's actually the water pipe out rather than the acid pipe in. Do I want to do these the other way? Let's do it the, do the other way. Like, if I do it here, these things all kind of ni line up nicely, and I have no idea how many of these I want. Um, 150 acidic water in 4 seconds. Okay. How many of these things do I have? 120 acidic water in 4 seconds. So these are the... I said a large number before, didn't I? Yeah, but not much larger. It's going to be roughly one-to-one, -one, not including the other stuff, so that's all fine. So, And also we're getting more acidic water back, aren't we? Uh, here this can go. Yep, yeah, we're getting... Once once this bit turns online, we're going to get more acidic water back. We're actually going to want a fourth one of these, I reckon. Um, because this... This process here gives us back... No, that gives us rich water. There was one that... gave us back... Not those ones. Yeah, making a hydrofluoric acid gives me back acidic water. I don't actually want to make sulfuric acid. This is the one I really want to make. And it goes pretty fast. Actually, this is... One fluorite point two seconds. I was, this was in the same menu that I wanted to look at. Um, one fluorite point two seconds. One fluorite point two seconds. Yes, yeah, so that's that's basically one to one with the sulfuric. Yeah, with the both the chemical plant and the assembly. So we can do a direct insertion thing there, which is going to be fine. 
Um, I'm about to run out of pipes, which is a bit of a shame. Do I even want this, like, set up like that? Who knows? Um, okay, so we're now making... Yeah, we're now making sulfuric acid, which is fine. Um, this is... Do I have anything else on this belt at this point? I don't, do I? Wait, that's a better plan. So I don't have anything else on this belt at the moment. And then it does also side load here, so I could just put more sulfur on this belt. That could be what we do. Can I get more sulfur on this belt? And the answer to that, probably yes. Uh, do I have efficiency modules? No, whatever. Um, you guys, these guys are a big deal, aren't they? They use they use things quite a bit. So I can actually do that and be marginally happier about things. Okay, so now we can have we can get ourselves some. Is that gonna do a thing? Yeah, it can actually just be here, can't it? And then, oh yeah, this remember, remember when I ran out of these pipes. Okay, so, I need more... Do I need more of these pipes? I mean, handcrafting is not going to get me that far. Uh, am I taking damage? Did I, did I expect to be taking damage? It's fine. Wall's taking damage. Yeah, this 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 bit is, you know, we, we don't need to look at that. It's fine. Okay. So we've got more sulfur coming out. We've got sulfur coming out with productivity modules in it. That means that, oh, here, we need one of those. So there's still side load, so I can still put explosives on it, so that's fine. Then over here, we're going to have a full belt of sulfur which is also fine. Um, so I can have... Do I even need... I think I need... Yeah, this is this is not a defensive position that I that I really need to hold at this point. Like, if, if I'm shooting things here, things are bad. And now I've only got three of these. Okay, whatever. Uh, do I have... Yeah, running running low on stuff and handcrafting things. Um, but yeah, this is going to give me... This, I guess I'm pulling it over here to make more, more, more sulfuric acid. Oh, the thing I did want to make... Yeah, is... So where is a... Here is a, a water link? That's unfortunate. Okay, so we need... I need a variety of things. Because this one here... Doesn't actually need to go underground there, does it? I can do all of this differently. Um, you can have all of those. You can go long and search to there, and you can go to here, and that also frees up... Does it actually free up the space? It does. That's wild. Okay, um, so I need to I need to go back to the base and pick up more stuff, so we can continue this build. Um, is that true? I might just ghost everything. Yeah, so I think we're going to ghost everything, and then I'll build it in between, and we can go. Yeah, we've got things done. Um, this, yeah, this is. Do I want it that way around? Do I want it that way around? Yeah, I think we're still going to do that. Okay, because we want to pump both of these. Uh, that's that I wanted. And um, what else are we continuing? Are we just continuing through these? I kind of want these things. I kind of want the the other combat ticks so I can go and do fighting stuff soon, because that's going to be on the cards, except these are all really fast ticks. So I'd really like to slot a slow tick in before that so that I've got buffers to empty into the really fast tech. So we're going to do that. Um, advanced uranium pur purification, that was not a thing I needed. But I can get... I can get more rich water out of iron, and then also nuclear stuff that I have nothing to do with yet, so that's cool, and we'll think about it later. Advanced metal casting, this was the one I wanted. Yeah, we are... 
still nowhere near actually building this, so I don't mind slotting these things in. And then other stuff we're going to need are portable solar panels, batteries, energy shields, and then apparently we're up to researching that, even though we're not up to using it yet. Um, I think we're going to, yeah, we're going to do this thing. This wants to be, if the sulfuric acid is less than, say, 15,000. Um, because the thing is, this, this, yeah, this acidic water process is the one that needs to keep running, because when we add the fluorine to make the other kinds of acid, this, this needs to, yeah, I need to have somewhere to be able to put the, the acidic water, so that's what that's going to be for, um, which probably also means I should gate it on this side, but I think we're just going to gate it with... That is, is, is actually a good point. I need to be getting it here instead. Yeah, okay. Uh, that make, means that this doesn't quite go here. Yeah. Okay. Um, where... Yeah, pumps. Still still doing things with pumps. This is turning into more of a mess, but kind of was always going to, so, you know. Somewhat okay with that. Then this thing needs to go here and... It Again, the same acidic water, less than 20,000. Okay, so these guys are going to make all my acidic water, which is fine. We're doing more kerosene stuff. I'm going to fill up this tank, kind of. I'm always going to have a bit of headroom in this system to deal with surplus acidic water. Then we're going to want stuff like this, making these guys. Yeah, this is, this is, this is fine. Um, two things here. Uh, I've actually got these three pipes, that's fine. I don't have those pipes. And then, this is too close. This is, yeah, this is not gonna... Unless we do that, which feels pretty bad, but whatever. And then... Ah, uh, what? Did, I didn't need to ghost everything. I only needed to ghost various pipes. Um, and then we've got a place for this to be, and we will soon be making... I could actually make the pipes myself. Um, yeah, I guess we're doing that. I mean, all of, all of this is going to move later, so this is even a thing I feel bad about having. Uh, but I think we are about going to leave it there, having done some of the things that lead us towards having fluoride. Or at least, yeah, so we've got we've got a dirty water pile now with, the, I mean, this this smelting here should never, in theory, never stop, because we need it for blue science, but we need, we need a lot of this anyway, and then we're getting surplus landfill out, which is fine. So we've got dirty water we can use for fluoride, uh, which is coming through to, oh yeah, I was going to figure out where this was going to go, wasn't it? Do I still have these? Am I going to be able to... Yeah. Do really want it there? If I do it here, then I can sneak these other guys out as well. And then I've got some stuff that I don't want in my inventory. You guys can have it. Uh, can I... Yes. Yeah, so this this, this pipe spaghetti is getting worse, but we can then get... We can get dirty water out. We can get dirty water out here. I've got sulfuric acid here. I've got a water pipe there. It's always going to be full here. I think we're, we're going to leave it here. We're going to come back and I will pick up more things I need from the mall and we will continue building the rest of this and probably, hopefully at that point, be close to building bots because we're kind of close to all these things that I've that I've looked at yet that I haven't actually done anything with. Yeah, get get the fluorite, get the sulfuric, yeah, use the fluorite to upgrade the sulfuric acid to hydrofluoric acid, pump the acidic water back into the same place, um, process that with some stone and water, which is going to happen in kind of the same place, figure out what to do with the copper. Um, yeah, get rich water, turn the rich water into gold, and gold was the one I needed for bots, neodym was also the one I needed for bots, get more water out again. Okay, yeah, sure. And then just more smelting things, yeah. That, that all looks pretty feasible for next time. So yeah, that is episode 10, made a lot of things worse.